So, again we are back right. So, this will take another example like this one right. So, be, I mean before this it is this previous example I ask you to draw the phasor diagram right. So, in this case that all power balance everything is shown, but it is given V 1 plus V 2 V plus V 3 it is a phasor quantity right. So, V 1 actually here your V 1 was 38.47 your uh, angle 59.5 degree. So, in this case uh, in just hold on. So, in this case your this is your V 1 this is your V 1 right. Similarly, this is your V 2 and this is your uh, let me move little bit up uh, just uh, just hold on. Uh, so, this is your uh, your V 3 right. So, now this is your V 1. So, V 1 is 30 I am writing here 38.47 angle 59 you have to do it the way you do the, your your vector vector you have studied same thing right. So, V 1 then plus V 2, V 2 is this one uh, 76.92 angle minus 30.5 degree, then plus this one V 3, V 3 say here I am writing like this 14.2 plus J 15.92, right. If you add all these thing you will find your what you call this will become your 100 angle 0 degree, right. So, that means you have to do not do not add the magnitude you have to consider this phase this 38.47 means angle 59 means 38.47 cosine of 59.5 degree plus j 38.47 sin 59.5 degree. Similarly, for this one and this one already it is real and imagine it is written here. So, that is why I have written right. So, understandable to you. So, next example we will take this one this is a very interesting example look one example will help you a lot. For example, this is your this is your a simple uh, series circuit current magnitude is given flowing through this I is equal to your 35 ampere. So, this one you know this is instantaneous polarity. So, this is plus this is minus right and your this current is flowing through your flowing through this circuit series R and this is the applied voltage V. So, across R the voltage is given V your 25 volt this is magnitude say it is 25 volt angles are not known. So, uh, and across this thing say uh, it is an inductor which has resistance also smaller and inductance L. So, across this one say voltage is equal to 40 volt this is magnitude right and this is a capacitor across which the voltage is say V 3. So, V 3 is equal to it is given 45 volt. So, it is 45 volt this is magnitude right this is magnitude and across from this point to this point from this point to this point this voltage say V 4 it is given it is given 50 volt, it is given 50 volt right. So, look if you like a DC circuit do not add like this right. If you get 40 plus 25 it is 65 it is not correct because you have to consider the phase angle right. So, but we do not know only magnitudes are known magnitudes are known that is why from here to here it is 50 volt that means it has some phase angle we will see that and, uh, and this uh, voltage across the capacitor is 45 volt. So, these are all magnitude you have to determine the capital this uh, just let me clear it this uh, this r this r then this small r then l right then the frequency of that supply voltage this f and the voltage v that is the supplied voltage v these are the things we have to determine and this is and current magnitude of the current uh, that is given say i is equal to 35 ampere right. So, now when we will solve this problem we are assuming that your V 1 is equal to I told you 25 volt, V 2 is equal to 40 volt, V 3 is equal to 45 volt right and this voltage 50 you assume V 4 is equal to 50 volt say V 4 these are all magnitude V 4 is equal to say 50 volt right. So, now in general that magnitude of the current I is equal to say V 3 upon X c for example, so let me clear it for example, in this circuit you have to you have to you have, I mean you have to uh, from your intuition you have to find out this is the current flowing this is the current flowing uh, current flowing to the circuit I this voltage magnitude 45 by your volt is known that is your V 3 and capacitor is 50 microfarad right. So, then this is the your what you call the current magnitude and this if this if its reactance is X c right then V by X c is equal to your I 
that is your 35 ampere this is a magnitude this is also magnitude this is also magnitude but x c is equal to 1 upon omega c right that means if you put x c is equal to 1 upon omega c it will be v omega c is equal to i is equal to 35 this voltage this is actually it is v3 we have taken so this is v3 this is v3 right so, v c is known, v 3 is known, omega is equal to 2 pi f from which you will get the f. So, this way you can find out how what is the value of the f, right. So, if you look into this, so v 3 upon x c, so x c is equal to 1 upon omega c, so from which we will get f is equal to 2.475 kilohertz, right, kilohertz. Similarly, uh, similarly your uh, v 1 the voltage across the resistance the capital R is 25 volt. So, this is 25 volt and I is equal to your know, this is 25 and I is equal to magnitude 35 ampere. So, capital R is equal to 0 0.714 ohm right. So, uh, we got capital R we got frequency also the 2.475 kilohertz. Now, next is that from this diagram now question is it is given like this look the circuit is like this that V 1 that resist voltage across the capital R is 25 volt this is my V 1 right and V 2 V 2 is given 40 volt right 40 volt. Now, circuit was like this this is my capital R this is my small r then inductance L right and then my capacitance is that this is small r this is L. Now, voltage from this point to this point right this is given your 50 volt right this is your 50 volt that is your v 4 this is your given 50 volt. So, this voltage across this one r is given it is 25 volt that is v 1 across this also it is given that inductor it is 40 volt right, but their phasor quantity that means uh, there must be some angle. So, in this case as v 1 is 20 or what you call that v 1 voltage drop across r that is your 25 volt is given. So, let me clear it. So, uh, so, this one this one is taken say as a reference say 25 volt right and V 2 this is your V 1 right and your V 2 is this one that is your 40 volt this is your V 1 and this is your V 2 right and this voltage V 4 is equal to V and this angle is making theta because this voltage magnitudes are given right. So, in that case what will happen that how then we have first we have to this all the magnitudes are known right. So, we have to find out the angle that you have to go for that uh, cosine law for the triangle. So, generally you know that suppose for example, here here itself I am making it here is suppose this angle is A. So, it is opposite opposite arm is A suppose this angle is B it is opposite arm is B and this angle say it is C capital C right. So, it is opposite arm is C right you know the triangle from that you know uh, in general you know this is a here a, here I have taken a means a is equal to theta right. So, from that you know that cosine a is equal to b square plus c square minus a square divided by 2 b c you know that right. So, in that case cosine a means it is cosine theta right this is theta a. So, cosine a is equal to your b square plus c square. So, this is my b. So, here it will be 50 square plus c square means 25 square minus a square minus 40 square right is, is equal to you have divided by 2 into b into c. So, I could be using that formula only let me clear it we have written this formula right. So, this is actually your this is actually I told you how we will do it that tri cosine your tri triangle that you have class 11 mathematics high trigonometry right. So, this one you can write 40 square is equal to 50 square plus 25 square minus 250 into 25 cos theta right. So, from here you will get cos theta is equal to your let me let me clear this one. So, from which you will get cos theta is equal to 0 0.61 right and and this side that means your the horizontal side it will be 50 cos to your 50 cos your your uh, 52 point Four degree right this from here to here this is your 50 cos 52.4 because theta will be your 52.4 degree right. So, that means to if you if you take 50 cos 52.4 degree it will actually become say approximately 30.5 right that means this 25 was also their voltage drop across the capital R then 
your 30.5 minus this 25 minus 25 is equal to 5.5. So, this is your 5.5. This is the voltage drop across your small r, right. So, voltage drop across small r is 5.5, right. That means, your that means i into small r is equal to 5.5, i is equal to 35 ampere is given. So, a small r is equal to 5.5 by your 35 ohm calculations given later, right. And this and this vertical one is 50 sin 52.4 degree. So, it is 39.61, right. So, let me clear it. So, from this you are getting theta is equal to 52.5 degree and this I told you it will be 30.5 voltage drop across R will be 5.5 volt right and voltage drop across L here it is voltage this is your uh, voltage drop across L will be 39.61 degree right because it is if you take it this thing it is R plus J L omega right this is the impedance of that your inductor. So, this is small r right and this uh, this vertical projection is 39.61 right. So, this is the voltage drop across the inductor that is your V L is equal to 39.61 volt. So, let me clear it. So, here so here I am writing the voltage drop across L is 39.61 volt. So, I R I told you 5.5. So, R is equal to 0 0.157 ohm. Similarly, I into X L these are all magnitude 39.61 X L is your L omega. So, L into 2 pi and omega actually we got that your what you call your 2 pi your omega is equal to 2 pi f this one here. Here X L is equal to L omega it is L into 2 pi into f right. So, f we have got 2.475 kilohertz right is equal to 2.475 into 1000. So, that is why this this is multiplied by it is converted to hertz it was kilohertz. So, multiply and this is 2 pi and this is L is equal to 39.61. If you calculate this L will become 0 0.073 milli Henry right. So, this way it has been done. Now, next is that your what you call the supply voltage V right. Supply voltage V actually it, it the circuit was like this no it was capital R then the induct uh, just let me clear it this is capital R then your sm, uh, your small r then the inductor then the capacitor right and your what you call this is r this is l so and this is your capital r right so this one and supply voltage was what you call this one this one was your supply voltage right that is your v this is the supply voltage this is across this it is v1 across this it is v2 across this it is v3 right and from this point to this point from this point to this point we took it is V 4. So, V 1 is 25 volt V 2 is equal to 40 volt and V 4 is equal to your what you call 50 volt right. So, and V 3 is equal to your 45 volt right. So, from that your from the phasor thing we can write that V actually is equal to V 4 plus because from here to here it is V 4 look at the diagram plus V 3. I mean if I come to the diagram let me clear it if I come to the circuit diagram, if I come to the circuit diagram, it is a phasor quantity. Now, we do vector same thing. If I come to the phasor diagram, this was my V 3 and this was my V 4. So, my V 4 is equal to I sorry V is equal to V 4 plus V 3. It is a phasor every time I am not putting arrow on top. It is understandable. So, V is equal to V 4 plus V 3 that is equal to V right. So, in the phasor form if you make it, it will be something like this. So, this is your this is your V is equal to V this is your V is equal to right is equal to it is it is equal to this V 4 this is your V 4 and this total from here to here right from here to here V 4 then this voltage and this voltage from here to here right it is your V your V 1 V 2 V 3 the voltage across the capacitor that is V 3 say V 3 is equal to V C and this is actually 45 volt right. So, in the chip phase in the diagram triangle diagram we have seen this was 39.61 that means, this this from here to here this portion will be 45 minus 39.61 because V is equal to V 4 
plus your V3. The way you make this is your V3. This is your V3, right? This way you have to think. This is very interesting problem. This one, right? So then, and if you take the difference, then, if, then this portion will be 45 minus 39.61. This means, this means this is your, this is our current reference. This I, this V, the 25 volt, 5 point the voltage drop across I. So I basically we have taken that say 35 angle 0 degree. This is my reference point, reference uh, current. So voltage here it is lagging right it is lagging voltage is lagging because voltage phase is coming here so now we have to com compute that this this angle angle between current and voltage this angle is alpha this angle is given here alpha so tan alpha will be if you look into that so tan alpha will be this is this is my height 5.39 divided by 25 plus 5.5 this will be 35.5 then alpha is equal to tan inverse this one right so, this one we have computed, this one we have computed. So, this is your that is what V3 is drawn here because voltage across capacitor. So, it is drawn here that means this one, this one right, it is vertically it is this one whatever I told. So, that means V will be is and magnitude will be your and this magnitude of the voltage here magnitude of the voltage will be V is equal to right, it is a it is a right angle triangle. So, it will be your uh, root over. 5.39 square and this length is 25 plus 5.5, so 30.5 square volt, right? Whatever it comes. So, so that's why. Uh, just a minute. So that's why these calculations have been made. This is your approximately 31 volt. Alpha is equal to I told you it will be tan inverse 5.39 upon 30.5, 10 degree and power factor will be cos 10 degree 0.9848 right and voltage across that your what you call there are uh, two your what you call resistance this is capital R and this is your small r. So, total added and current is I. So, I square r it comes 1.0669 kilowatt. Similarly, if you make P, P is equal to V I cos alpha. So, 31 into 35 into 0.9848 because power factor is 0.9. So, this is your 1.0. 669 kilowatt. So, this is your answer. So, you have to it has to match I square R must be equal to V I cos theta it has to match. Now, next another example this example is that you have a that you have a 231 volt whenever nothing is mentioned that means 231 volt means it is RMS value and all the time you will assume its angle say unless and until it is specified say 231 angle 0 degree right and another thing is the load is given 0 0.8 power factor lagging. When it said that, that lagging, that means current actually lagging from the voltage. Whenever give that power factor, that 0 0.8 power factor lagging means that current lags the voltage, right? So current is lagging, right? And it is given that you are what you call this is the load 10 kilo volt ampere, that is 10,000 volt ampere, and this is the load. Now, now what we have to do is that suppose we want to improve the power factor to say 0.95, it was 0.8, but now we want to that power factor to 0.9 for which we have connected one sun capacitor, right. So, we have to find out what is I, what is I C or C value and what is the load current after connecting the capacitor. So, that means this is the problem defined. So, C how, what is the value of C to make the overall power factor that is load plus sun capacitor 0.95 lagging, right and current drawn before and after installing the capacitor. Look, when you are before installing the capacitor, this circuit this should not be there. It is not there at that time I should be equal to I L. This is not there, this is not connected, it is simple circuit, right? It is simple circuit. So, suppose this is you remove, this is you remove. So, current will flow like this, this is you remove and this voltage source is there, right? So, this at that time I is equal to I L. So, at that time we have to find out what is the current right and after putting this we want that combined power factor should be 0 0.95 lagging right that means we have to find combined power factor of this then for which what will be the value of the C and IC etcetera I everything we have to compute. So, for that for that that when before installing the capacitor the current is only drawn by the load I told you at the time capacitor is not there you remove the capacitor. So, I L will be your what you call apparent power of load by voltage. So, 10 kVA means 10,000 volt ampere divided by the 231 volt. The supply voltage is given. It is 43.29 your what you call ampere, right? So, 
it is 40, uh, 3.29 ampere. Now, now its power factor is given lagging 0.8, right? So power factor is your what you call? It is 36.9. That means the current actually uh, just uh, just a minute. The current actually it is 43.29 angle minus 36.9 degree. Whenever it's a lagging power factor, means the current is lagging, right? Now this is the current 43.29 angle minus 36.99 degree. Now we have connected a capacitor. Whenever you solve this problem, first you draw the circuit on the notebook, then you listen to this uh, video lecture. Right. To make the overall fact power factor, now we have to make it 0.95 lagging. Right. So in that case, what will happen? That our cos delta say now now new power factor say cos delta is equal to 0.95. So delta is equal to 18.2 degree. It is lagging. Now since the pure capacitor draws a leading current at 90 degree, right? With V and IC shown perpendicular. This symbol is a perpendicular to V and leading by your V by 90 degree. So, if you look into that, if you look into that, uh, this one that current this was initially voltage V is equal to 231 angle 0 degree. So, we have taken this f and this is your 43.9 the current and this angle is 36 but current is lagging, current is lagging this is 36.9 degree. Now, after putting the capacitor, capacitor actually capacitive current it leads the voltage by 90 degree. So, this is IC right. So, same thing we have this is a phasor. So, the way you do wet vector same thing we are making it IC by red ink it is shown IC right. For which this 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 portion that this is the delta this is given this is actually one power factor should be 0.95. So, we have got power new power factor angle is 18.2 degree right. We want to improve power factor to 0.95 right. So, this height is say Q and say this is Y. So, from which and this is my IL this is my IL that 43 point your 29 degree. Now, if you look into that x is equal to let me clear it. So, x is equal to this is my x, this is my x, x is equal to your I L into your cos 36.9 degree, this is my x, right. So, horizontal projection. So, it is 34 point your 63. Now, y is equal to this is my y and this is my delta. So, tan delta is equal to y by x, right. Therefore, y is equal to x tan delta, right. So, x we have got 34.63 and tan delta, delta is 18.2 degree because power factor we want 0.95 lagging. So, it is 18.2 degree. So, theta is equal to your what you call, your what you call, uh, theta is equal to your 30, your uh, sorry, tan 18.2 uh, degree, sorry. So, that means, y is equal to 11.39, that means, this height y is equal to 11.39, right. So, if that means, your I C will be the magnitude of the current this I C will be 43.29 minus your 11 point whatever it comes 11.39. This is will be the ca your capacitive current magnitude 43.29 minus 11.39. So, this is my I C it is shown by reading right. Similarly, that means Q is equal to vertical projection I L sin theta. So, this is my Q right. So, it is actually coming how much your uh, your um, uh, this thing 43.29 sin 36.9 degree right. So, my Q actually is coming your 26 right. So, this this is the height this is my 26 right. So, in that case uh, your uh, what you call uh, this is we got y uh, y, y is equal to got 11.39 and I L no sorry this is actually I L sorry vertical one sorry not 43.29 that this is my Q, it will be Q minus Y, this is my IC, sorry not this one, Q minus Y it is equal to IC, right. So, therefore, IC is equal to Q is 26 and Y is equal to we got your 11.39, whatever comes this is my capacitor current. I, I missed it, I thought this vertical line this is this is my IL, this is 43.29. So, it will be Q minus Y, so 26 minus 11.39, right. So, this one if you do so, so this is your supply current will be I now root over x square plus y square. So, 34.63 square plus 11.39 square it will coming now 36.46 ampere and now I c is equal to actually q minus y there by mistake I took the load current right. So, uh, because it was written there. So, but it is it is actually your q minus uh, q minus y. So, it is coming 14.61 ampere right. So, I c is equal to your omega c v. So, 
similarly you know v you know omega so you can your you know your what you call i c so you can find out what is the value of c right so this one i c is equal to is coming your sorry that i c is 14.61 omega is 2 pi it is 50 hertz is given frequency and voltage is 231 so c is equal to 201 microfarad this is the answer right so similarly another thing is given this is a parallel circuit 100 volt means you take 100 angle 0 100 angle 0 and it is 6 plus your j 8 and this is your 4 minus j uh, j 3 right so if you find you have to find out i 1 i 2 right so in this case v is equal to 100 angle 0 simply i 1 parallel circuit 100 upon 6 plus j 8 you will get 10 angle minus 53.2 degree ampere i 2 will get 100 angle 0 by 4 minus j 3 you will get 16 plus j 12 20 angle 36 point your 8 degree ampere and i is equal to the way kcl you apply i 1 plus i 2 it will be 22.35 angle 10.3 degree this is this is the i right but another way of make another way of easy calculation is that y is equal to you write 1 upon z that is the admittance right you write 1 upon z therefore y 1 is equal to your 1 upon z 1 it is coming 0 0.06 minus j 0 0.08 right so similarly y 2 is equal to you make 1 upon j 2 just numerator and denominator there you multiply 6 minus j 8 so it will be 6 square plus 8 square right similarly here also numerator and denominator by multiply by 4 plus j 3 so you will get 0.16 plus j this is admittance unit is more right so unit is more so similarly your that means y 1 from here it is coming y 1 is equal to 0 0.06 minus j 0, 0 0.08 g 1 is equal to then 0 0.06 v 1 is equal to 0 0.08. Similarly, y 2 is equal to 0 0.16 plus j 0 0.12 is equal to g 2 minus j b 2, g 2 is 0 0.16 and b 2 is equal to minus 0 0.12, right. Therefore, like your parallel resistance impedance are here same thing, we do not know 1 upon r is equal to 1 upon r 1 plus 1 upon r 2. So, here also 1 upon j is equal to make 1 upon z 1 plus 1 upon z 2, 1 upon z is y. So, y is, is equal to y 1 plus y 2. So, for parallel circuit admittance has to be added the way you add resistance in series. So, if you add this right it will become y is equal to g minus j b right this way g is called conductance b is called susceptance right. So, g is equal to g 1 plus j 2 so g 2 so it will be 0 0.22 and b will be equal to b 1 plus b 2 it will be pi minus 0 0.04 right. So, y is equal to g minus j b so it will be 0 0.22 plus j 0 0.04 more right. Now, i is equal to v by z, but 1 by z is equal to y, therefore it will be y v. So, v is 100 angle 0 and this is your y, if you multiply i will become 22.35 angle 10.3 degree ampere same as before right. Similarly, i 1 is equal to v into your y 1, so it will become your 10 angle minus 53.2 degree ampere same as before and i 2 is equal to 100 angle 0 into your what you call that your y 2. So, it if you do so it will become 20 angle 36.8 degree ampere same as before both impedance and admittance both taken together and got the same answer. So, admittance one will be easy one because calculate calculator you can easily convert to polar to rectangular rectangular to polar and this is the phasor diagram V is taken as a reference right and, and your I 1 10 ampere lagging from V 53.2 degree I 2 is 20 ampere leading by 36.8 degree and resultant current I is leading from V by 10 point 3 degree. So, this is your uh, your what you call this is 10.3 degree the angle between the voltage and the current I. So, this is my power factor angle right. So, power factor is equal to cosine 10.3 degree. So, 0.9838 and input power is equal to V i cos theta it is 2198.793 watt right. So, similarly if you make P 1 is equal to I 1 square into R 1 that is magnitude of the current 10 square into 6 for branch 1 it is 600 watt for branch 2 if you make I 2 square into R 2 it is 20 square into 4 1600 watt total is 2200 watt. Here it is coming 2198.793 because this decimal places truncated if you take up to 3 decimal places or here if you take up to 5 decimal places you will get 2200 watt. For example, power factor I have taken the 5th, 5th decimal place. So, in that case it is coming 21 uh, 2199.96 which is 2200 watt for a check and here we took up to 4 decimal place right that is why it is showing 2198.793, but it is to match right. So, here it is matching here it is matching right. So, thank you very much we will be back again.